Hi, I'm here with Tui Cordemans and Nari Hibbard, who are the founding partners of Co Living. Um, certainly a business that's founded on friendship, but also very much founded on a uh, sense of personal and business connection. So, hello Tui and hello Nari. Hi. Uh, Nari, tell me a bit about how Co Living started. Well, it's interesting actually. We started um, on a bet. Uh, we're in Thailand, Bangkok. We met a lady who travelled the world buying products for a store in Queensland and we thought, that's it, that's what we want to do. So we determined to start a, a business right there on the spot that would bring those experiences of travel um, back when you were you know, at home um, and it's grown to what co-living is today. We can't just, um, we're not inspired by just moving stock. Um, so with our products, um, we care about every single little detail when we're designing them. We think about why we're creating that particular design, what impact it will have on the person that's purchasing it or buying it from someone else. Um, we think about the manufacturing process. Tell me a little bit how you feel it's evolved. Well, on most days we're still friends. <laughs> it really <laughs> depends sometimes. When we very first started, I mean, we're not going to lie and tell you we knew what we were doing no, no. because we didn't. Well, so we had two credit cards, two yeah. two thousand dollar credit yeah. cards. That so was that, it. That's what we started on, and um, we just were buying stock from the shelf, and mm. um, and it was selling really, really well. Mm -hmm. But it just felt like there was nothing to it. No integrity. No integrity, you know. And it was uh, like I said to Nari, I need to feel like I'm doing something more, you know. Mm. And um, one of the things we did realize was that. The, the products that we designed ourselves were selling really well. So we've really run with that and mm. almost everything we have, like probably actually 98% is designed by Co. Um, and it all has meaning. So I'm much more inspired to sell it because I know it's doing some good to someone and our retailers are loving it, our consumers are loving it and it's working for everyone. And so that's where we've we've kind of gone towards, but it wasn't the plan from the start, really. Mm. It is, you know, I think for a lot of people to realise that it doesn't need huge income, a huge backing. No. Um, I'm sure a that there's a, a lot of hard yeah. work and passion though. I think everyone's so afraid, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, I better not do that, or I make sure that this, or oh, I've got to have enough cash, or just keep your job, start it on the side, be passionate, find out why you're doing it to start with, hold it at the front, and just go for it, and don't be scared. Because if it's not going to work, find out sooner.